y'all hey first of all hey welcome welcome and welcome i hope you're feeling safe hope you're feeling loved hope you're feeling blessed okay i love you guys thank you all for being here okay thank you for your likes your shares your subscribes your comments your thoughts your prayers okay all the good ones anyway okay because i know i got some haters all right but i appreciate y'all too okay god bless y'all too all right let's see uh <laughs> Y'all, when I tell y'all that dream I had about them snakes was wild. When I say it was wild, honey, it was wild. But I'm going to give Angels of Abundance, and then um, we'll go from there. Okay. Let's see what we get. Holy Spirit, please come in and have your way. Send your angels of the highest, most positive light to come in and guide us and protect us. As we are here to listen and receive the messages that you have for us, we thank you in advance. And so it is. I'm just hearing, it's the God in me. What is it you think you see? You don't know how much I pray. You don't know how much I... Yeah, somebody like, look, y'all don't know. And I, listen, I feel y'all because... You don't know the half why I move how I move. May not understand this, the path I had to choose. You don't know about the loved ones I had to lose. You don't know about the long nights I made it through. I thank God when I rise every day. More intention now with the words that I say. Telling obstacles, gonna move out the way. Climbing mountains, facing demons, I conquer and slay. Listen. Okay, so having the spirit of gratitude and knowing that that God is in you, okay? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, okay? I know I be having some religious people, some Christians watching me, and that's totally fine. And I know that. Let's see. What's the message? What's the angel of abundance message? Bountiful nature. I said this in love earlier. Hey, Muhammad. Uh, spending time in nature helps you shift. Spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration. It reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk, hike with your pet. Meditate beneath the tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vast. And somebody here, you need to, you need to water your plants. Or you are the plant that needs to be watered. So I'm getting maybe water yourself here, okay? Um, being in, in an abundant, bountiful nature, okay? So definitely getting outside, going outside, okay? Hey, Chantrell. How you doing, beautiful? So yeah, definitely getting outside, going outside, pouring into yourself, okay? Loving on yourself because sometimes we pour out into others so much because we just so giving we just so loving and we want to be seeing everybody happy we want to see everybody win you know we're like oh what's wrong with you we will give our last and then we'd be drained so we got to pour we got to remember to water our own garden okay we got to remember to pour into ourselves because we need that okay so let's see we have employment change so someone here could be having a, a um, job change here um, definitely. Okay. It says your career path is healing, leading you to a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. Okay. So remember to be in your bountiful nature. Okay. Especially as you are changing your, your job here. I just did a live um, where someone was definitely uh, moving, they were going somewhere, okay, moving to a new city or state or something like that. So check that out when I upload it um, on my channel. Hmm. All right, let's see. What's going on here? Then we have block out distractions, okay. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what is important, which is you. Okay, so go outside. Don't take your phone, 
okay, unless you're going to turn on some of that good meditation music or something while you're walking or something. You already know what these distractions are. And you have the power to responsibly block them out. Okay? And we have savings. Oh, wow. So employment change going in with savings here. As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. Okay, so make sure that you're saving. So maybe somebody's getting a new job so they can be able to have some coins to save. I feel you. All right, so this is going to be, this employment change is going to need you to um, block out the distractions here, okay? You're going to be needing more risk. Some of you are going to be doing more work than usual. Okay, so you're going to need to block out the distractions. This, Whatever this employment change is could definitely require more focus, okay? Anything else from this spirit? Anything else from this? Nope, that's it. That's all. Okay. Hey, Sonya Styles, how you doing today? Uh, let's see, what else? So that's your Angels of Abundance message. That's your Angels of Abundance message. Let's get some African goddess rising and see what the message is from there. Let's see. What messages do you all have for us from the African goddess rising? Okay, I see shine at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, being be the light that you are. Be the light. Be the light. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. So be the light. Let's see. Let your light shine. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, somebody going to church this Sunday, or somebody went to church last Sunday, or somebody is just like old school or something like that. Hey, Chef Mozzie, somebody, because I hear this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing Jesus gave it to me. Somebody is old school. Somebody grew up in a church like me with them old folks. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Somebody look, let your light shine, okay? Just let it, let, let it shine. Just go ahead and let it shine. Let's see, what's the message? You ain't got to dim your light for nobody. Look, be you, be liberated and free here, okay? Be who you are, all right? Be who you are. Don't, don't, nothing can stop you. People are going to be in the shadows watching you be free, watching you, watching you shine. Let them. Let them, because they need the light. They need the light. That's what they need. They need the light. So be the light. What else? Somebody nanny. Somebody call their grandma nanny or something like that. Somebody, somebody, there's a mother in the family named nanny. This could be someone that's passed over, or this could just be a matriarch, a matriarch of the family right now. And they old school like that, and they love them songs. I'm telling you, because there's a bunch of gospel songs playing in my head right now. So somebody's grandmother could be here right now. I'm picking up on a mother, a mothering energy. Because I'm hearing, he's in no time, God. Yes, he is. I'm telling you. But somebody here is watching though in the shadows. So definitely somebody here is watching you. Job said he may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. And I tell you, he's in no time, God. Yes, he is. So, okay, that's what I'm picking up on. This is a mother and energy. Somebody here is letting you know that you are not alone here, okay? See, it's something about this season here. So it's something about this season here. Somebody could have lost their mother during this time here, okay? It's something about this season. It's like this holiday season is very tough for somebody here. These winter months are very tough for someone. They're used to having their mother here. See what I'm saying? It's like Nana or Nanny. It's either Nana or Nanny. Somebody here is Nana. It could also be somebody's Nana here as well, okay? But I feel like somebody here is helping you. Somebody here is helping you in this season where you're going to be abundant and, and plentiful here. Because this also came out in my in my live that I did earlier today, okay, you guys?
Mm -hmm. See, this is something about your, your lineage here, okay? These are messages here from your ancestors here. Something about the color purple could be significant. Maybe you used to watch this movie or that's one of your people's favorite movies or something like that. The color purple because you know they are remaking it and it is coming out around Christmas. So this could have been something that you could have wanted or you know that you would have done with your mother or your grandmother or something like that. Y'all would have gone to go see this movie right here or something like that. So let's see. Clear messages. Something about corn could be significant with your grandmother, okay? So you guys could have had a cornfield um, around you growing up. Hmm. You could be seeing the, the angel number 242, okay? I got the number 24 here and the number 2 here as well. And we got this snake here. I had a dream about snakes. It was a lot of snakes. This was, actually looks like one of the snakes that was in my dream. I feel like your ancestors are helping you here because there's somebody here that could be doing some kind of self-sabotage. Or maybe you don't know how powerful you are. Give me more information, Spirit. Also, I feel like those people in the background could be snakes watching you. Because, see, I feel like somebody here is enraged about something here. I feel like somebody sees your light and they don't like it. I feel like it's something like that. Somebody sees the light. They look at you in a negative light. There's some people that look at you in a negative light because your light irritates them. You got like some kind of like Medusa energy or something like that. I feel like you're changing here. I feel like you're you're recognizing your light. I feel like you're recognizing who you are. And some people just don't like that. It's, it's sad, but it is what it is. Roaches don't like when you turn on the light. <laughs> they get to scare you and they're running and stuff. They don't like when you turn on the light. They're roaches, them roaches. Some people got roach energy. <laughs> they like to dwell and feed off of darkness and in the darkness. As soon as you turn on like shh, shh, shh. <laughs> But that's okay. You just keep letting your light shine. Okay? Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. What else, y'all? Let's see. Yeah, see, somebody here is a wounded healer. See, you, you've you been wounded, but you are a healer as well. You're a light worker. I'm talking to somebody here that's a positive light worker. You're a positive light being. You bring the light. You bring joy and light to other people.